Right. In precisely two weeks' time, the U.S. will elect a new leader to take on a host of tasks both at home and overseas. For more on the U.S. presidential campaign, its polls as well as prospects, here's our political correspondent, Ishi Hu. With just two weeks remaining until the November 5th U.S. presidential election, the Democratic presidential candidate, Vice President Kamala Harris, and the Republican candidate and former President Donald Trump are focusing their efforts to win over undecided voters in key swing states. Harris on Monday visited the battleground states of Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin with former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney. There, Harris and Cheney held conversations with voters, many of whom were conservative, suburban women in the Midwestern states. Harris described Trump as a threat to democracy who is increasingly unstable. And it should lead us to observe that he is increasingly unstable. But you don't have to take my word for it. Listen to the people who know him best. There was at least Cheney, the daughter of Dick Cheney, the vice president under President George W. Bush and one of the most prominent Republicans to have endorsed Harris, backed her up. He's a man who's unfit to be the president of this good and, and honorable and great nation. Speaking on abortion rights and national security, Cheney painted Trump as irresponsibly dangerous while describing Harris as the reasonable choice. Meanwhile, Trump visited another battleground state, North Carolina, whose conservative mountain regions were recently hit by Hurricane Helen. Trump appealed to religious voters, saying that he was saved during July's assassination attempt against him by a supernatural hand. And I would like to think that God saved me for a purpose, and that's to make our country greater than ever before. At another rally, Trump expressed strong outrage about a top voter concern, border security, and criticized the current administration. Biden put this total stupid person in charge of our border. Think of it. Never made a call. Never went there. She let it just all that she said, keep those borders open. Let everybody come in. On Monday, early voting opened in Florida and Texas, while some opened their booths last week. According to NBC's early voting tracker, more than 14 million Americans have already cast their ballots. And as opinion polls show a close race, the race for the White House remains a toss-up. It's extremely close, especially in the battleground states. Among likely voters, 49 percent support Harris and 48 percent support Trump. It's likely that in the next 14 days, Harris and Trump will continue to focus their campaigns on the seven key swing states. Yi Shifu, Arirang News.